What's up, guys? Yep. Let's get into it. Okay, so it's probably about two reasons why you clicked this video. Um, one, because you're a Noah Beck fan. Shout out you. Uh, two, because you're genuinely you are genuinely curious of the truth of social media and LA and this whole lifestyle. And I think, yeah, we're kind of changing it up a little. Oh, just for this video, I'm not sending this video to my editor. I'm not editing this at all. This is all uncut. This is me. This is this is it. And like. I want to be so real with you guys and that's what I try to do on my channel, on my YouTube, on all my platforms really. I try to spread like positivity, being vulnerable, being like super authentic with who you are and I think that's like the biggest thing and don't get me wrong, I'm not a mot motivational speaker so and I'm kind of nervous right now so stay with me alright. So basically it's it's midnight right now it is midnight and I'm posting technically later today like I'm filming this right now and then in a few hours by the time you guys are watching this this will be posted and not only that um, when you guys are watching this by this time I would have already gotten my surgery I get my surgery in like six and a half hours I have my I am having surgery at 6 30 a.m and I'm getting it on my gyno, gynecomastia. It's like built up breast tissue in your pectoral area and you can either get it through steroids or puberty. I know it might be like, oh, coincidence, because like I work out, so people automatically think it's steroids. No, I, uh, I've had it since I was 11 or 12 years old, since I was going through puberty. Had it in my left and my right pec. Um, luckily enough, my left pectoral, the breast tissue went away after a couple months um, it's very common and like if you're if you're a guy and you're struggling through this and it's like a, a big insecurity of yours you're not alone I've had it I'm 19 years old and the one in my right pectoral muscle has not gone away all right so I'm taking the decision and I am getting it removed and it's a big insecurity of mine it's a big step and I think it's gonna be huge in like my confidence when taking off my shirt and I, I think it's gonna be dope and I want no point in hiding it like I'm gonna be vulnerable with you guys I think that's the biggest thing is just being yourself and if you guys accept me that's amazing if you don't I'm, I'm sorry but all right so why you guys click this video I think we should jump right into things I have a few things prepared on my phone like talking talking points because I don't want to like have random awkward silences because this is unedited and it's all raw footage like this is me to you talking um yeah so i think we jump right into it i think and i think this is gonna be interesting to hear because i am personally i grew up pretty normal childhood played sports went to school like very normal phoenix arizona had a great family amazing childhood um and I was on. The, I took soccer very seriously. If you don't know uh, my past, I was very competitive in soccer, and that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Went to college for it. Uh, had a Division One full ride scholarship, and then social media came along, and that's when things got interesting. And that's when I had to make huge decisions in my life, and I had to make life changing choices. And yeah, so that's where. That's how we get started here. I think I was on I was on the right track and like I really wanted to go pro in soccer and then there was this app called TikTok where I started posting videos and they started to do really well. And I started posting during quarantine because I could only train and go to school for so long and I was like for the rest of this time I can't go see friends because we're in lockdown. So I'm gonna make some videos. The video started doing well and here I am and so I think if you're watching this and you have dreams or aspirations to become a, 
a social media influencer or a content creator, um, I think this is a very important video for you to watch prior to making that big decision. Um, obviously, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not an expert on these things, but I am going through it. I am living these things. And so I feel like it's only right if I share it with you guys. And I, I just think... Like, don't get me wrong, there are so many amazing things about this job, about this career path that I have chosen. And I know a lot of people, trust me, I did too, before getting into this, I was like, oh, these, these guys are just making 15 second videos, like, they look like tools. And it's like, yeah, like, they do, and I do, but there's much more to it. Amazing job opportunities, amazing people I've met, the opportunities I've had, like it's just a crazy world out here. And especially moving out to LA, that's when you know things get serious. Cause you can do social media from home and you're like in it, like you can meet people through TikTok like I was doing in Arizona. I was meeting different people from all over the place, uh, making good relationships. But when I moved out to LA, that's when things were like, I'm really doing this. And I, I quit soccer. The opportunity was just too good to pass up people like you, you kind of I, I don't want to say I got caught up in it but like I said the opportunity was just too good to pass up and it was too good to be true and I was like I don't know how longer how much longer this will this will last and I don't know how much longer I'll have this platform so I'm gonna do everything I can right now to capitalize on what I'm doing here and I think that's a big thing when you're starting this if this is the career that you want to take or if, cause I noticed in quarantine, social media is one of the only businesses. I mean, there's a few others, but social media was a business that just wasn't really affected by the lockdown, the quarantine, the COVID rules. And if anything, it boosted all the numbers because people were in, at home watching videos, watching YouTube, watching TikTok, going on Instagram, like all these different things. And now I feel like it's every kid's dream to be a social media star and so that's why like the funny thing was I never had these aspirations I never wanted to be a social media star and content creator I didn't really care about the internet I wanted to go pro in soccer I, I like I had one thing in mind but that being said I got tossed into it and like I don't regret it at all like like I said there's amazing stuff but not the reason you guys clicked on this video is to talk about the truth behind it all and I'm sure you guys from an outside source are probably have somewhat of, an, of like a direction of where I'm going to go with this, but when you move out to LA and I've, I've, I've seen it happen um, and I just think it's something that needs to be discussed when you drop everything. Let's say you're 15, 16, 17 years old. I moved away when I was 15, but I moved away on my own for one goal in mind was to become a professional soccer player. So I understand sacrifices. I understand that you need to sacrifice some things to go to where you want. And I'm fully aware of those things. So that being said, I feel if you are wanting to move away from your home, wherever you live, to come to LA, to have these collaborations, to meet these new people that are in this business that you want to one day pursue, and I think it's good to know the truth of it. And like, it would have been nice if I had a video of uh, the truth about moving away when you're 15 to a development academy for soccer. Like, I would have watched that, obviously. But I, like, the thing is, I think a lot of creators, a lot of influencers hide a lot of these things. And I think a lot of them try to sugarcoat or not even just sugarcoat, make it, make it seem like their life is perfect. And that's one of the things that I am really wanting to promote on my channels is that, look, I'm just a normal kid. Like, I, I, like I'm not even worried about, like, if I say anything wrong here because I'm telling my whole truth, you know? Like, I'm being so genuine right now, and, like, I want people to hear my story. But not only that, I want to help people decide if this is what they want. And if it is, amazing. Like, I'm happy where I am. I think everyone should be happy of what they're doing. Like if, if you're not happy, then it becomes like, 
I don't, it's like destructive. And I think that because I'm happy doing this, I'm happy to prepare you guys for the downsides. And like, I don't know, I, like I was saying, the influencers, like the content creators, a lot of them make it seem like on the internet that their life is perfect. And that's another thing on social media where it's, social media can really, like you are portrayed on social media how you want to be portrayed. Like I try to be super authentic whereas other people, for example, could give people this misconception that their life is perfect. Or it's like, maybe they're doing that because they they like it or they just feel like this is a really cool thing to post. And like they post, I think it's amazing. But that being said, I think no one really speaks up about for example, the mental the mental health aspects of social media, moving out to LA, away from your family at a young age, and then jumping right into all this. And like, I know you hear it in the movies, and like, trust me, before I moved out to LA, I'm like, this, it, it's not like, it's not like some monster, like I'm going to, to fight, like it, it's, it's LA, it's a city. But that being said, listen, like, I know your parents probably tell you don't listen to things that you see on the internet or the movies, but like, they're not wrong and I think like there's good things to take away but LA is this is where I'm going to start reading some of my notes so like for example it's just it's almost when you move out here every, you never know people's true intentions when they're nice to you or when they're asking a favor of you. Or it just like, you just never know people's true intentions, like your trust. Like I have major trust issues on people I meet, people I, like I let in. And like, I think that's good to have your guard up a little, but sometimes it comes to a point where it's, you. F there's times where you feel lonely and like you can have all these amazing friends, but at the end of the day, like, I'm just a normal person and I feel lonely at times where I, I'm not sure if I trust, I like guess the slightest thing about, about like, it could be anyone. And it's just, there are a lot of fake people in LA and there's a lot of people that don't have your best like interests out and it's just, oh, uh, this is tricky. But I'm just being honest with you guys, like this is how I feel and it's like, it really is hard to know people's true intentions when everyone is out here to make it to the top. Everyone's trying to be the richest, the most famous. Whereas, I, like I, that's never been my thing. Like I, I want to make genuine connections. I want to have cool friendships. I want, yeah, making some money here and there is obviously nice. But I think at the end of the day, like when, when people tell you money can't buy happiness, I know before I moved out to LA, like when I didn't have a ton of money, I was thinking to myself, yeah, I can, like what the heck, I could buy all this stuff. But at the end of the day, like you could, like this leads into my next point of, I feel at times I can't, I'm like too scared or worried to speak up about how I'm feeling like genuinely because I don't want to get pinned as ungrateful because of all the wonderful things I have I mean people would say please like look at your house look at like all the, the wonderful things you have in your life and I'm like yeah I I'm super grateful for all those things but just like any other person I go through things as well and in social media when you devote your whole life to it you're depending on the level of fame Privacy, gone. Everything on the internet about you is open to everyone to see. Everyone knows everything about you. Um, not only that is when, when you start to do well for yourself. Like for example, when I started gaining more followers and then during the summer, like had a lot of fun, continue to do that, started to try new things because I'm comfortable with myself and I wanted to really branch out and as soon as I start to do really cool things, uh, start to really make a name for myself, 
here it comes. Here comes all the hate comments. Here comes the overrated. Here comes the no a neck memes. The Shrek, like all that stuff. Like I know it's a joke, but it at first, like it can really get to you. And that's the thing with LA and social media as a whole is you have to have thick skin. And if you don't have thick skin, you'll learn to develop it very quickly. And if you don't, you learn the art of ignoring. And I think I, luckily enough, growing up as an athlete, I had hard coaches that helped me develop thick skin. My, my father, for example, was one of my coaches growing up and he was hard on me. But I learned that I learned best when I was getting challenged, when I had a hard coach or someone really getting into me. And that's when I learned best. So people telling me, like all these comments getting to me, it it was such a different kind of like, like it wasn't like any kind of strict coach, strict teacher. Like it wasn't anything like that. It was more just like people genuinely were making fun of me, were just didn't like me. And, and I at first was so confused as to why, because all I try to do is spread positivity, put smiles on people's faces, and I, and who I am online is who I am offline. Like that's all I could really do. And like if they don't like that, they could just keep scrolling. But like I said, with social media, as soon as you start to do really cool things, as soon as you start to make a name for yourself, there's gonna be people that hate, and there's gonna be people that say really mean things about you. So you either have to, I mean, you can give into it and you can clap back at people. Or you can just ignore it. And if you ignore it, it's not there and you can't let it affect you. Um, yeah, so that's, I, I, I learned giving it, giving things attention doesn't do anything except spark a fire in whatever the conversation was or the meme that someone made about you or the comment that someone put. If you respond, then that just gives that more attention rather than ignoring and let's say giving more attention to the nice comments or the positive things that people are putting under your uh, post. That's what I try to do because those those comments will then be moved up to the top. And like, that's all I'm trying to do here. Like I'm trying to make people happy. I'm trying to put smiles on people. I'm trying to be happy. Like selfishly, I want to be happy. And when I see hate comments and rude comments, it like, it sucks. And like, it's not a good, good thing like at all it's not good for anyone's mental health like i don't know what they're getting out of it by putting this on my page like maybe they think oh we won't see it but it might get some likes and it might give me some attention but at the end of the day like is it worth it you know like i like that the, to answer your question like do we see a lot of these com yes like we a lot of the social media influencers we look through our comments and whether I want to or not, I always end up looking a little bit. I do, I, I, nowadays, I do not let anything affect me. If I see a negative comment, I'll just scroll right past it, not think twice about it because I've become so numb to it. And it's like, it's a shame it's come to that, but that's just how it is. And I think that's just a big thing. Like social media can really just have this effect on your mental health. And it's like, it's a lot privacy, the hate comments, the, all this stuff. And if you're having a bad day, like for example, I have days where I'm not feeling too good or I'm having personal problems or I, I saw a comment and like I somehow let it, got, uh, let, let it get to me. And I, it's just, what well, wasn't a good day. And then all of a sudden you see three, you go out in public, you go out to like the gym where like I find a place that's like my therapy. And like, I love going to the gym. I love like physical therapy. Like it helps me get my mind off things. And then as soon as I get done with the gym, I come out feeling good. And then like, as soon as I get out of the gym, as soon as I start, I start thinking about what was affecting me before. And I'm like, damn, not in the best mood. And then I see three people come up to me with cameras. No, how, how, what about this? No, what about this? Like, how's this? How's that? And it's like the days I am upset or if I'm having a bad day, no one it seems as if no one cares. And it's like, it, I don't mean that in like a, oh, I'm fishing, like, like give me, like, like ask me how, I, how am I? Like, no, I'm not asking for that. I'm just saying there's days where like, I want to just be alone or I don't, or I just want to hang out with genuine friends. 
and it's that's hard to come by in LA and it's like because I your your walls are up so high because you don't know people's true intentions and but you do, you start to once you've been out here long enough you start to realize who are people that you can trust who are people that you can come to with any problem and yeah I, I think that is another very important thing if you want to come out on social media make sure you have don't come out here alone don't like you can't come out here and not know anyone because then it's it's just wishful like you're just hoping you're hoping that something works out um i was lucky enough to be a part to have a spot in sway which is like they haven't really opened their arms to just about anyone else and i was super blessed to have that and it was an amazing experience and like obviously i'm still here but it's i'm super grateful and thankful that they accepted me with open arms and i think that is really cool but like i said that doesn't happen to everyone and i think luckily enough i've since i've been out in la i've had days where i haven't been completely happy so to say and it's like i'm happy to i'm glad that i have a solid group of people that i know i could go to um and that's hard to find and i'm blessed to have that and i think keeping your hometown friends for example like two of my hometown best friends are here in la and so when i need a break from like the social media world i'll go hang out with them and i feel like a normal kid again rather than Noah Beck, the TikTok star, like, and like, don't care about all that. I want to, like, I'm a kid, I'm 19 years old, I want to be a normal kid, and like, hanging out with, uh, with them, one of them plays for LAFC, Bryce, um, and then Tyler plays for UCLA, and I don't know how, but we all ended up together, we lived in Arizona together, we played soccer growing up, they're my boys, and I, I would have gone crazy without them being here, and I'm so happy that they're here and I think that's so good to have is like that foundation of real hometown friends because you know their true intentions and not only that like like that's the thing if you go and not even just making friends in the social media world but let's say you meet some people that aren't in social media that aren't famous you know you also start just because of how things are you also start to wonder and question their intent by being nice to you and i know it sounds crazy but it's like you like it might be hard to believe but there's a lot of people that will just be like yo like what's up bro like want to like hang out and like you barely talk to them and it's because like there is a term clout chasing and i hate to say it but there are people that, that do that and it's like um yeah, it's it's not a good feeling because you feel like you're being used and that's why you tend to have your your guard up is because you don't like that feeling. You want to have genuine relationships with people. And so like I'm saying, I could keep going on and on about Okay, I'm just looking at my notes here. Uh Yeah, and there's another thing like in social media People think it's like, oh, they, they make these they make these videos and they're done for the day. Like, no. There's there's not any like downtime that you guys think we have because there's I mean, depending on what you're doing, but there's constant interviews, there's brand deals you have to film on a certain time, there's things you have to post at a certain time, date, like whatever it is. And like this is do this is contract, so you have to do it. And yeah it's not a bad gig at all like I love every bit of it but people need to understand what they're getting into because they come here thinking that they're just gonna party and hang out with friends for a living and make a couple videos here and there like no if you want to make it out here and if you want to take it seriously you have to work and I know a lot of people won't like hearing that but at the end of the day trust me it is worth it and yeah Another thing about LA, like, traffic sucks. It's expensive, and taxes suck as well. So it's like, just just know those things before moving out here. Like, I love it. Like, 
don't get me wrong, this isn't a bashing social media, this isn't a bashing LA video, this is preparing you. And I think I've just about covered everything, and like I said, this was completely raw. I'm literally doing this the night before my surgery early in the morning and the night before I'm posting. So this is me, this is raw footage. Um, yeah, um, I think I've just about covered everything. I just, I really wanted to cover, like before coming out to LA, I would have loved one of these videos and I don't think many people speak on it. And I think it's definitely something that needs to be talked about because it is a career or it is an aspiration, a goal for a lot of kids nowadays to become a content influencer, like whatever you want to name it, to come out here to LA and make videos with friends. Like it is a dream for a lot of these kids. And I want to be kind of the the blueprint in a way. Like I, not even just that, just like I just want to prepare you. Like know what you're getting into before you, like don't go into a room unprepared. And I think that is a perfect example of some people moving to LA and not making it, going home because they're homesick or going home because it's just too much. And it's like, I hope this video covered some of the points and I mean, if you guys want, I would love to do another sit down. If you have any other questions about how to do this, how to do that, I would love to answer them. Like I said, I was just, an, I, I am a normal, I'm a normal kid. And like, this is my truth, this is my video. And I wanted to just share this with you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't really have to look at my notes because I was just talking straight from my heart and it's like, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope I answered a lot of your questions or if you're wondering anything, that's how it is. And like I said, this isn't a video to bash anything. Follow your dreams if you want to. I'm here, I'm loving it, I'm having so much fun. But just like any other kid, I have days where I'm down. I have times where I just don't feel too good. And it's like, there are the down days and there's, there's things that you just can't control. And it's like, I'm a normal kid and I kind of got tossed into this, but I'm making the best of it and I love every second of it. But like I said, that comes with the price at times. And yeah, I just hope this, I just hope you guys find this useful. I know I'm probably going in circles talking about all this stuff, but yeah, uh, that's about it. Uh, I love you guys and thank you for watching. Like I said, let me know if you guys want me to talk about anything else. I'm happy to do this. Um, the non-editing thing kind of scares me because I probably had some like awkward, pa awkward pauses and all that stuff. Probably stuttered a little bit, but yeah, I think this was an important thing to talk about and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like, comment what you guys want me to talk about next, if you guys want me to do, if you have any questions, comment all that stuff and don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Peace. Ooh.